All right, so what's up? What's going on? Welcome to JA News. It's so it's only January, but 2024 is already starting to heat up in terms of sneaker releases. So for today's show, we're going to be covering some major leaks from all of your favorite brands across the board. So of course, most definitely we're talking those Jordan 4 I'm on my years, but it also looks like Adidas has a top secret release they've been keeping under wraps. And it's actually coming next month for NBA All-Star Weekend. And I love these joints, but at the same time, hate them. But let me not give too much away. Stay tuned. We got all that plus more and it's coming right up next. All right, so it's the Friday show. Let's head into the weekend the right way. I'm currently on the road to 66,000 subscribers. So if you guys would like to help me get a little closer to that goal, consider subscribing down below and come along for the ride. Now, to kick things off, we got to start with these Jordan 4 Bread Reimagines. It feels like this is the it sneaker of the moment. These are the joints that everybody's talking about. So of course, we're heading into the weekend. No shock drop just yet, but doesn't it feel like every sneaker YouTuber already got their pairs or should I say say um <clears throat> backdoor their pairs already but the good thing is we're getting closer to the release date we're starting to see these joints pop up on a lot of foot sites release calendars which confirms the reports that these will be everywhere there's going to be a lot of stock and i don't have to tell you guys your best bet is best to probably secure a pair locally you know because you don't want to rely on the nike sneakers app to be able to grab these joints so of course there's going to be a lot of pairs we can expect the shock drop what got when do you guys feel like the shock drop is going to go down we can expect exclusive access and then of course the official drop but as i mentioned your best bet is to secure a pair with your your local retailer you know go ahead and pay that backdoor fee early or take your chances you know being able to grab these joints for retail and i find it really funny that this is a sneaker that like everybody's praying that they have like this high resale value i don't know why my prediction was that these joints could float around up right above retail once they drop but it seems like everybody was mad this is a sneaker that everybody like wants to have crazy resale value so i thought in 2024 we were happy that there was no more sneaker resale but uh I guess I'm wrong about that. And everybody's like praying that these joints go for a lot of value for whatever reason. I really can't tell you, but be on the lookout. Jordan 4 Bread reimagines. Let me know in the comments when you guys feel like the shock drop will go down. And since we're on the subject of Jordan 4s, let's kick off these sneaker leaks with the Air Jordan 4 Ama Manier, which made his debut on the internet. We got the first look courtesy of James Whitner himself, as he's seen here on the phone with the plug in China. But as far as these Jordan 4s goes, what do you guys first think about the first impressions? We knew these were on the way. We had some mock-up photos previously. So how do y'all feel compared to the mock-up images? Based off this first look, it's kind of tough to tell, but it appears that these feature a suede finish. It seems like they're a light maroon type of color. It seems like you have a vintage age sole with a semi-translucent back tab. So I gotta say off my first glance, joints ain't looking too bad and i gotta say most definitely better than the previous um attempt that we had on the ama manier 4 so i'm gonna say joints ain't too bad of course these will actually be a woman's exclusive release but we know that shouldn't stop any guys from going for these and be on the lookout for these as they are set to release coming up sometime this year so up next we got the union la nike field general so union la they're going to be bringing back a older nike retro model out the vault for this collaboration so take a look at the original nike field general which doesn't this sneaker kind of look like this may be where tom Sachs possibly got the inspiration for the nike gps but anyways these joints feature a uh, redesign which it looks like they've added a completely new sole to these to make them a lot more functional which kind of gives this sneaker more of like a skater type vibe so they were doing a lot with this, including a uh, slap in union right across the midsole of the sneaker. So I got to say, uh, I feel like a lot of union collabs with Nike have been a lot more misses than hits lately. And I think they could have kept these a lot more simpler and that would have been a much more effective release. But regardless, it looks like they're going to have a couple of colorways of these drop in. Let me know what y'all think about these down below. And it looks like we got a detailed look at the packaging for the upcoming Travis Scott Jordan Jumpman Jack university red it looks like these i have a tentative release date for this summer retails looking like 200 bucks so what do you guys think about the details on these joints right here i like the fact how we got to look here at a little special warning it says the jack graphic will wear off with use over time so that's interesting a cool look at travis scott's very first debut silhouette 
with Jordan Brand. And with all the early looks, I feel like we should have already seen these joints drop, but uh, let me know what y'all think about these. I feel like from what we've seen so far, these are probably like my least favorite colorway. And moving right along to Adidas last night, Anthony Edwards, he gave us the debut for the latest colorway for the AE1s. Now, I've already told you guys countless amount of times how much I'm rocking with these sneakers, but Anthony Edwards, he chose the great time to debut this new colorway, which we've already covered here on the channel, but this was a nationally televised game. He went crazy on the court. He had a super crazy highlight, which he did one of those like self alley -oop passes for a crazy dunk. He finished the game with I believe 28 points but most importantly they came out with the win so he's going crazy on the court his sneakers are going crazy off the court and uh, I'm definitely excited to see you know what the future holds for Adidas and Anthony Edwards and it looks like they have a top secret release plan to debut for NBA All-Star Weekend so let's go ahead and take a look at the clip of this leak for the latest AE1 colorway so let me know what you guys think about these joints. These feature like a, what appears to be like metallic, purple type of color. Of course, they do have the signature black base, which we've seen on all of the AE1 colorways. And these kind of have more of like a uh, metal type of feel. Very interesting, you know, colorway. You do see the hint of uh, neon on the three stripes there on the back. So, uh, joints are interesting. I'm kind of not really knowing how to feel about these so far. You know, I love the AE1, but at the same time, these joints may be just a little bit too much for me. So I think this is a sneaker that's going to look great on the court, but uh, may not translate so well off the court, if you guys know what I'm saying. So we'll see if these actually do have an official release date or if they'll just be locked in as like an exclusive all-star way colorway. And it'll be interesting to see if this is a limited release as well so drop your thoughts on these joints down below and speaking of anthony edwards i told y'all i've seen some leaked images previously and uh it looks like we got a first look at a new ae1 colorway which looks to feature like a mx color pattern on here so uh again i don't really want to judge these just off these poor quality images for the first look but these are looking interesting so just a little quick look at these and uh we'll see if more images of these surface here coming up in the future now basketball sneakers aren't your thing we got a first look keeping things adidas at a new wales bonner samba which has surfaced so of course these feature the signature extended tongue that wales bonner fans seems to definitely love on their sambas they do feature some white exposed stitching a black leather finish and then the signature design feature of these has to be these gold studs and unfortunately it looks like these pairs are extremely limited, which of course is gonna drive up demand, hype, resale value, all that stuff. So apparently these are gonna be limited to just 750 pairs. And I gotta say, joints do look nice, a lot better than some of the other Wales Bonner Sambas that we've seen floating around. So I'm a fan of these and be on the lookout for these releasing sometime later this year. All right, and lastly, before we get up out of here, we got a pair of boots that ever since the designer initially showed me the first images of these joints these have been one of my most highly anticipated pairs you know even heading into now 2024 initially i first saw these joints last year and i can't wait for these to officially drop so now that the designer has shared the images via instagram it's time to share these joints with you so we got some duck boot samples uh this is a working title but these are going to be the next upcoming release from artreon so these are the same people the same company that brought the infinity which i showed you guys here previously this is a fully 3D printed shoe um, through Zella Field. So this is actually made to be customized to your feet. Joints are super comfortable. I love the look and uh, at the same time, they're extremely functional. So definitely love these and yo, I can't wait for these duck boots to come to life. So what do you guys think about these? I know the first thing that came to mind to me when I saw these, of course, the Yeezy 1050. I mean, y'all see it already, but since those joints are never gonna drop in, it kind of feels like Ye has moved into a new design direction. I feel like I love the fact that Artreon is definitely, you know, keeping that Yeezy design vision alive. And I can't wait for these joints to drop again fully 3D printed boots, so be on the lookout for these. Not gonna talk too much about these, but just wanted to give you guys a little teaser look at these. So drop your feedback down below. Let me know what y'all think about these. Are you rocking with them? And which colorway would you like to see these joints drop in? So let me know what y'all think about these. Drop your feedback on everything covered here today. What do you guys think about those new AE1s? And are you rocking with the new Jordan 4 Amar Meuniers? And 
Let me know what you guys think about the shock drop. What day do you feel like the Jordan 4 bread reimagined shock drop will go down? So we're gonna wrap things up right here. I hope you guys have a great, wonderful weekend. Salute to everybody that's been rocking with me all week long. Make sure y'all tap in on the like button. I'm JA, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'm out y'all. Love.